so far we have implemented this menu and header and the uh, activity but we have not implemented this click on the uh, menu item in this drawer navigation menu so to let's go ahead and handle the click on that so to handle the click on navigation menu we need to implement one interface in our main activity so we need to implement this on navigation item selected listener so that we can listen for the events or click on the menu now we need to implement this on navigation item selected interface method let me return this true and now we can use the IDs of the item menu item to identify the which menu is clicked so I'm gonna use if else statement to do that so if menu item dot get item ID is equals to r dot ID home then we're gonna do something here and similarly I can do for the next activity next menu and you can do this for all the menu item that you have in your navigation view you can also use switch statement here that's your preference I like using if else statement so because we have only two menu item here but if you have multiple like five or six menu items you can go for switch statement now inside this I'm gonna load the fragment so now we are gonna go ahead and talk about the fragments and the we're gonna create the fragment activity so first I want a default activity and second I want a second activity fragment activity okay so first I'm gonna create a default activity that will be that is loaded that gets loaded when the user open our application and I'm gonna implement one more fragment that is going to rip load that is going to be loaded into the fragment activity main activity when the user click on the menu item that we have okay so let me go here and create a new fragment so I'm gonna start by creating a fragment class okay that implements the fragment so it should be fragment of Android X click on OK and now I need layout for this as well so I'm gonna name the fragment name and change this to constant layout okay so let me close all of this and I'll also create one more fragment as I said okay and similarly extend the fragment class click on okay and for this as well I'm gonna create the layout file okay and similarly use constant layout okay so this is how we create the fragment that is going to be loaded into the main activity so if you have multiple fragment or multiple pages that you want to load in the main activity you can create the class and the layout here and after that we are going to load that into our main activity so remember that we have only one activity here and others are fragments so it do not extend the app combat activity th this one as well so you need to understand that difference between the fragment and the activity okay so due to this uh, these fragments are very limited to what they can do but they are pretty much enough to implement some features in our application so if you remember in the main activity main we have this content main and the inside content main we have this container frame layout so we're gonna use this frame layout to load the fragment in our application so to use the fragment we need to implement few methods like on create view on attach based on the requirements of the fragment but here we only going to do a simple things like uh, adding a simple text view or image view in the fragment and we're going to display that so we will need to implement the on create view and since we are talking about interacting with the button in the fragments we'll also implement the on attach okay so I'm gonna talk about that when we'll use that in this program so I'm gonna start by creating a on create view here and in the on create view we are going to create the layout 
we are going to assign the layout that we are going to use for this particular fragment so on create view we'll create the new view and we'll return that view to the activity so that our layout will be displayed in the main activity so i'm gonna do that here inside this main activity and i can i'm gonna override the on create view and by default it's going to return the on create view super on create view but i'm gonna remove that I will create new view inside this on create view say view and I'm gonna use inflator that is provided to this create the new view from our fragment layout that we have created since this is a main fragment we have the fragment main layout here so I'm gonna use this that fragment main layout fragment main and here we need to pass the view group and the false and finally I'm gonna return the view okay this is one more difference that we have from the activity because if I go to main activity here we have assigned the layout using the set content view method but in the fragment we'll always use on create view and inside that we'll create the view and return the view so this is the standard procedure okay so now I can call this main fragment in the main activity and assign that to the our um, container in the main activity so before doing that i'm gonna add something to this fragment main so since it is empty right now i'm gonna add some text view that will tell us that we are in the fragment main so i'm gonna fix the constraint here okay so this is the main fragment so this is the layout that we are going to use for this particular fragment and let me add one more button here as well so that we can handle this button event in the program later so okay so i'm gonna say it uh, i'm gonna set the name as the load fragment and i'm gonna give id to this as well here as a load and uh, and whenever we click on this button we are going to load the other fragment uh, using the fragment manager okay so now i'm gonna go back to main activity and here i need to create the fragment manager and the fragment transaction so to load the fragment into the any activity we need to use two classes that is fragment manager and the fragment transaction so fragment manager is used to create the instance of a fragment and fra fragment transaction will perform in the fragment that is adding the fragment replacing it or removing it so i'm going to create the instance of classes that we need I'm gonna initialize the fragment manager and fragment transaction okay or I'm gonna do this uh, after that sync state so fragment manager now I need to use get support fragment manager and similarly for the transaction and finally here I can add the fragment that we need to load into our main activity so this is the default fragment so I'm gonna name here so this fragment will be loaded when the user open our application so if we don't set this default fragment we are only loading the fragment when the button is clicked or some event is occur in our activity so it is important to set some default fragment in our activity because if we don't do that user will sleep see blank activity and we don't want that okay and finally i can use the transaction to add the fragment so i'm going to use add and here now i need to specify the container okay so our container is called container fragment and now i need to pass the fragment that i want to load into this activity so that is main fragment okay so either i can create the object of this main fragment here and load here otherwise i can directly do this and finally none of this is going to work if we don't commit this so we need to commit this transaction so i'm gonna use the commit method of this transaction and finally it will be loaded into our application okay and one more thing here we have uh, implemented this navigation view and item on item selected listener and we have implemented all these things but uh, one more thing i have for forgotten to add here that is to set the navigation item selected listener here okay so now if i run this application we should see the main fragment in our application when we 
first open our application okay so i'm gonna run this application and we will see what happens okay our application is running now so let me open this okay here you can see our main fragment is loaded into our application so even if i close this application let me close this and open this the main fragment will be loaded automatically because we are loading this here in the main activity 